हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर तन्मय विश्वास आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री द मिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल स्टूडेंट्स टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वन एमसीक्यू एंड यू हैव टू से व्हाट इज द मेजर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन एक्चुअली दिस रिएक्शन इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स एंड आफ्टर दिस टू पार्ट्स वन प्रोडक्ट विल बी ऑप्टेन व्हिच इज वन ऑफ देम अमंग दिस फोर ऑप्शंस सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू स्टूडेंट प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation because don't self evaluation is essential for improvement and don't worry after some time you'll get the right answer i believe you have tried by yourself just my turn to give you the right answer so in this case student i request you please read the steps of the reaction and this reagent okay this is actually a cationic species or there should be some anion x minus that could be halide toss halide etc but that is not important that's why i did not mention it here the reaction is happening on this organic part now in this case i request you student please look at the molecule little carefully these molecule has mainly two types of functional this is first this acetal more specifically it's ketal and second is these heterocyclic ring or these 1 2 4 triazoleum ring okay so these 1 2 4 triazoleum part the reaction will happen now let's learn everything step by step so first lda if you look at this reagent this lda it's actually a bulky base means it selectively abstracts proton okay now so that's why we need anhydrous condition because if any moisture there in the reaction medium it will destroy or quench this reagent so that's a waste so that's why anhydrous thf needed and ld is a very reactive molecule so in order to get selective proton abstraction i repeat in order to get selective proton abstraction this minus 78 degree centigrade at very low temperature is essential now we have understood that ld is a strong base fine so which proton will be abstracted this red one or this blue one it depends on the acidity of these two atom actually if you look at what is the difference between them is the positive charge on this nitrogen positive charge means deficiency of electron if the adjacent or attached nitrogen is electron deficient consequently the polarity of this carbon hydrogen bond will increase and that is reflected by its enhanced acidity what do i mean i mean that this red hydrogen is more acidic that's why it will be abstracted selectively by ld at this low temperature and it will generate a carbon ion actually more specifically if i say it is actually not a carbon ion it is actually a carbene and i want to give little brief to you about this so this is 1 to 4 triazole so actually in this case carbene is in this sp2 hybridized orbital generally we see generally we have seen that these radicals are six electron species so generally we expect that they are electron deficient but in this case it is actually not electron deficient why because the vacant p orbital on this carbon atom is in conjugation with this two nitrogen having one one lone pair and these lone pairs are donated to student i repeat these lone pairs are donated to this vacant p orbital consequently what happened this carbon center is not an electron deficient rather it is electron rich electron rich not only that it is electron rich and nucleophilic as i told it is in sp2 hybridized orbital so it has some directional property of this pair of electron so that's why it can act as a nucleophile so you can see this is the negative charge after this proton abstraction and this is a positive charge however in some cases you can see another canonical form where you can see this bond will go to this nitrogen the nitrogen will be neutralized and this carbene here see in the first structure just i'm showing here every atom is octet field means eight electron field but in this case this carbon center is having six electron so this is the difference but in both case it is nucleophilic second thing it since it is nucleophilic then it can react with electrophilic reagent for example this aldehyde 
ओके वी नो दैट एल डी हाइड्स आर मोर रिएक्टिव कम्पेयर टू कीटोन बिकॉज वन साइड सब्सटीट्यूशन इज हाइड्रोजन लेस बल्कि सो इट्स मोर रिएक्टिव कॉन्सिक्वेंटली हियर दीज कार्बिन विल अटैक हियर एंड इट विल ओपन अप ओके एंड अल्टीमेटली इट विल प्रोड्यूस दिस मीन्स यू कैन कंसिडर दिस एल्कोहल एल्कोक्साइड डेरेटिव लिथियम सॉल्ट एंड आफ्टर वर्कअप ऑफ दीज ओ माइनस एल आई प्लस इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू ओ एच बट हियर स्टूडेंट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड हियर आई मैंशन वर्कअप एट एच थ्री ओ प्लस बट प्लीज रिमेम्बर दैट देयर इज वन एसिटल और कीटल लिंकेज वी नो दिस कीटल्स आर स्टेबल इन बेस बट अनस्टेबल इन एल्कली सो द दिस एसिडिक वर्कअप नीड टू बी डन केयरफुल एंड वेरी माइल्ड एसिडिक सोल्यूशन इज एन फॉर दैट पर्पज एंड एनदार थिंग कैन सी दैट सर इन द फार्स्ट डे फाइ दिस इथर रिमेन अनफेक्टेड बिकॉज एल डी ए इज एक्चुअली अ बेसिक रिएजेंट ओके दैट्स वाई अंडर दिस रिएक्शन कंडीशन दिस कीटल इज स्टेबल सो सो व्हाट इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस टू डेज क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन दिस केस दिस कार्बन विल बी डी प्रोटोनेटेड एंड एल डी हाइड विल अटैच सो दिस प्रो कार्बन एंड एल डी हाइड व्हाट इज द ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर नाउ इफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज एपियर इन यूर एग्जाम लेस दैन थर्टी सेकेंड हाउ कैन यू सॉल्व इन दिस केस फर्स्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट हाइड्रोजन इज मोर मोस्ट एसिडिक and in this case you need to understand the concept of ionic liquid by the previously i have discussed one lecture on imidazole which is a simplest system so if you treat this imidazolium salt with base then this proton get obstructed so this much knowledge is enough similar is here also this part if you look at so that's why this proton will be obstructed carbene will generate and this carbene is singlet carbene and next later it will react with this aldehyde and ultimately it will produce this option a now if you understand that proton abstraction will happen at this center then what options are gone this option d gone option c gone now if proton abstraction happen here then here not happening so option b also gone what is remaining option a so this much information that which proton will be abstracted using this carbene concept so you can come to the right answer very easily okay so i guess you have understand the overall phenomena so in conclusion what you have learned today the triazole is actually a heterocyclic compound having three heteroatoms here heteroatoms are nitrogen and through alkylation triazole could be converted into triazoleum salt or 1 2 3 3 triazoleum compound upon treatment with base such triazoleum salt undergoes deprotonation to produce corresponding carbene and in this case they are singlet carbene because main multiplicity is one and such carbenes are nucleophilic in nature because the electron donation or plus r effect of this adjacent heteroatoms in this case nitrogen and that's why these singlet carbenes are better nucleophilic not only that they are nucleophilic additionally because the carbene it's a carbon centered nucleophile and that's why they act as nucleophile nucleophilic and this nucleophilicity is observed due to the sp2 hybridized orbitals electron pair okay so this is the overall discussion i believe this video may be useful please write your opinion in the comment box and if you consider the content of this channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow so thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye